How do you handle a cheap man? He got money, but he ain't spending enough on me. Oh, because he's not spending enough on you. He's cheap or he's broke because he just won't give you all his money. <laughs> um, I don't think you worry about cheap men. You worry about um, yourself and you. Don't worry about men. Worry about yourself. Be selfish is basically what she's saying. Find a way to get whatever you need. Find a way to get whatever you need. Right. Whether, whether it's, you know, your own business, flipping another man's money to get, you know, triple, investing in yourself, having another sugar daddy or what. Flipping another man's money and having a sugar daddy. Boy, you know, it's crazy. So many women act like they can't stand men, but they show love the shit out of a man's resources, don't they? Because you know what? Without men, the whole society, the whole world wouldn't even run. It wouldn't even exist. We would all just vanish just like that. But y'all complain about us, but y'all show sure love taking and using what we got. <laughs> Not another form of ways to get money. Like, y'all, a man that you're dating, if you're a gold digger, a man is... What I call, uh, if you're gold digging and you're not serious about any type of relationships right now, a man is. She said that really quick, but I want you to catch it. If you're gold digging and you're not serious about any kind of serious relationship right now, she's implying that most women are gold diggers. And it's true. Most women are gold diggers. They're out to get as much as they can from as many men as they can. And they got women like this that are teaching them how to do it or trying to. <laughs> it's another source of income a man is another income stream okay so treat them as such right don't treat men as human beings don't treat your fathers your brothers you know your sons or anybody any man of the of the male persuasion so to speak like human beings just treat us all like cash app and paypal and venmo and zeal and stocks on the stock market right treat us just like a piece of property because that's all we're worth they are an income stream for you and until you can turn that income stream into a business and flip it or a profit or an investment then you can and what that means is until you can figure out how to use a man properly maybe get married to him divorce him take all his money you know or just get them to spend money on you. Maybe have a hundred men in the friend zone until you can do that. See what's next. Keep getting several income streams. Keep getting more men to be suckers. Keep getting more men to simp out. Keep getting more men to take you out on dates and buy you dresses and fly you out. Keep doing that because that is in the best interest of you for sure. Okay. What's the laughing for? Hmm. Maybe you guys should ask yourself what she's laughing for. Especially you ladies. Is she laughing at you? Because she know you're gullible? Know she can just tell you anything and you'll believe it? Or maybe she's laughing at a comment. I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. Comment on her video or maybe it's a live stream or something like that. You don't want to know what I think. Because I already know. <laughs> If one income stream is not providing what another income stream is, then you put more of your focus on the one that is providing the most. You if one man is not giving you what you want him to give you, then you find another one and you focus on the one that is the most. You'll keep the other one, but you put more into that other one and then you make whatever income stream do what it do. Okay. You put more interest in the other one to make him jealous and then you watch them battle over you and see how who can spend the most money. That's really what it is. Call a spade a spade. You know this lady is married. This lady really has no interest in this type of advice to women. So you have to ask yourself why is she doing it? I think she's doing it for attention. I think she's doing it because she knows that women are easily led, easily influenced, that women uh, buy, spend the most money, own the most debt. That women are ext extremely hard headed. Women tend to just follow what other women say. Women actually believe that most women care about them, that most women would never lie to them. When was the last time you seen a woman actually tell another woman in honesty that she's not a 10? 
Instead, oh, we're all beautiful. We're all queens. We all deserve the best. When was the last time you ever saw a woman actually be honest with a, another woman? So why would this be any different? Could it be because she's married that she really wants to be out there in a the dating game and that she's jealous of the other women that are? Could it be that she's just jealous of women in general? Could it be because that she's benefiting off of putting these videos up on YouTube and TikTok or wherever else she is? That she's getting paid to do it? Because women are easily led. And that is the problem. And when you look at the dating marketplace, the reason why it's so messed up is because women listen to everyone but men. They only listen to women and they think that women have their best interest at heart. But I'm here to tell you that they don't. Women always want what other women have. Always. They're always in competition and always jealous on some degree. And it's a biological thing. But today in this modern society that we live in, it's just completely over the edge and it's out of control. 